hello friends welcome to the video lecture on a machine learning so in a last lecture we have seen about we imported this iris data set and we used the nearest neighbor uh, functionality from the scikit learn library so in this tutorial we are going to see about the digit recognition so for that we are going to use this amnis data set but instead of using this nearest neighbor we'll, we are going to use the k nearest neighbor classifier now let's see what is the difference between this nearest neighbor and a k nearest neighbor classifier so i have already opened the documentation of this uh, scl and neighbors so inside that there are a lot of different uh, types of uh, nearest neighbor classifier or different constructor has been given so in the last lecture we use this nearest neighbor so what that nearest neighbor has given us the top uh, nearest neighbor point with respect to the query point but manually we have computed out of that top five nearest neighbor which where the majority vote will go and manually we have decided that where in different category the test data lies but in case of this k nearest neighbor classifier it will calculate this nearest neighbor uh, all top nearest neighbor point plus it will automatically it will decide also where that particular test data will reside in which class class or in which category that test data will reside so whatever the task uh, yesterday uh, in the last lecture we did manually that task will be done uh, with the help of same functionality in this k nearest neighbor classifier so in today's lecture uh, we are going to use that k nearest neighbor classifier rather than nearest neighbor and we are going to use this amnis data set so this data set is again the part of um, this sql and library so i have done already uh, necessary import so let me just run it i have imported sql and data set and one more is the pandas library for the visualization of this data and matlab import matplotlib library for the inline display of this image and i have created one more function to display those image because this all data set is a image data set so we will frequently uh, need to display the image to just verify that what image we are uh, dealing with otherwise it's just a set of uh, number for us so i have created one uh, display image uh, function where we provide the input as a number the num the number track code will supply and that number track code image it will uh, display so we are going to use that function a lot in this lecture now let's just uh, uh, load this digit data set so i have loaded this digit data set and this we already did in a earlier lectures also so i have already pasted this code so this loading of digit data set and putting into data frame object so there are total some where around 1719 uh, uh, 1797 uh, data sets uh, are available so there are total 1797 images are there but i have used uh, first 1700 images also remaining 97 i have kept for the testing purpose so out of that uh, remaining 97 image one of the image we will take for our uh, testing purpose so what it has done actually individual image uh, digit data has a total 64 integer value per each record and 64 is nothing but in a 8 cross 8 grid it is showing as a image so we'll just uh, display some of the image and uh, we'll just verify that uh, how it's going on so uh, we have just uh, displayed the few uh, records uh, from the first five image so uh, okay let's uh, display the very first image okay so first image is nothing but the zero basically and e it has cal uh, put this one dimensional 64 uh, uh, digit 64 different numbers into 8 cross 8 grid and it has displayed for us so this is all about the data uh, one more thing about the data we'll see how that target uh, functionality will looks like so we'll apply this keys function and see 
what are the keys are available so in this image uh, it they have formatted this 64 bit number into 8 cross 8 grid this way we got this image but i have supplied this data because we want to uh, display in a data frame format so that is a one record and each record contain 64 bit number uh, target name individual labels name uh, the description of a whole data set and a target so we are going to use this uh, uh, date image uh, data and a target basically so data is nothing but our uh, input data and a target is nothing but our output data now let's uh, go for how we can create this training data set and how we'll supply this training data set to our k nearest neighbor classification then we'll supply that one of the testing data set so let's create the uh, training data set first so we'll create the train underscore x so training data set will create like a digit data and i have told you that uh, we'll just use the first 1700 remaining we'll use for testing purpose so train x and train y we will create so we can use the same one but here we'll use the target so this way we have created the training and a testing sample now let's just import the b necessary functionality for the k nearest neighbor classification so for the k nearest neighbor we'll import this sklearn dot near neighbors and we'll import k nearest neighbor classifier okay we have successfully imported this k nearest neighbor classifier now we'll create the constructor for this k n n k nearest neighbor classifier so k nearest neighbor classifier and we'll supply some number that number is nothing but what we have seen in the last lecture that how many nearest point you want to take into consider while predicting the output level so let's take uh, 10 and we'll supply this training and testing data to this our fit function fit will supply this training train y so in a last lecture we have supplied uh, just uh, training samples uh, x samples only no output level we have uh, supplied because that uh, functionality was used for just for finding the nearest neighbor but here k nearest neighbor classifier is used for the finding nearest neighbor plus it will find the majority vote will go to which category also so for that category the, we need to supply this output label also okay k n n actually that's a typo okay so we have successfully created this k nearest neighbor uh, classifier constructor now uh, let's create our uh, testing sample so for k nearest neighbor we just supply this 10 as a nearest neighbor so it has changed this value 10 remaining all values are uh, quite a default value you can change those uh, value this is uh, available in a documentation so individual algorithms you can uh, change it you can change the number of jobs even you can change the lip size that lip size is used for a uh, different algorithm uh, like uh, kd tree or even a ball tree kind of algorithm you can use different matrix like a euclidean matrix you want to uh, use for the computation of di distance between the two points or any other l2 or l1 distance there are a hell lot of uh, distance measure will be available inside this sk lens so that we'll go to see in a future lecture so uh, this is the test data a uh, train data we have created and we have supplied to k nearest neighbor classifier now let's create our uh, testing data so we have used first 1700 example as a training set now let's uh, use some arbitrary number uh, about the 1700 for using our testing samples so let's just uh, use some somewhere around uh, 1726 numbered example 
and we will display it and we will see then we will supply this uh, sample to the k nearest neighbor classifier function to predict that which digit it this image belongs to okay so uh, we need a numpy library for it so i am importing this numpy as a np and np dot array so we will supply digit data and 1726 number the example we will see so we will put it into test now whatever the test dimension is available that is a kind of column data set but we need to supply uh, to the sklearn library while predicting the output level in one form like a number of uh, instance multi uh, cross number of features are available so that kind of matrix only we can supply it. so let's just uh, reset this matrix so here we are going to use just the one sample as a testing sample so we'll use the one row in any number of column and we'll sub assign it to the test one okay so we have created the testing sample now let's just display this number of image so we'll just supply the number to the function which we have already created so we created this test one uh testing samples plus 17 we are going to display this 1726 number image okay so we displayed this image plus we have created this test one successfully so this three we are going to give as a input to this our k nearest neighbor classifier function and let's see what that algorithm will predict for us so we have already created this knn uh, object so we will supply on a knn function the predict functionality so in a, a last lecture we use the k neighbors functionality so k neighbors will just give or will just return the top 5 or top 10 based on whatever we have supplied in a constructor that top matches out of that but this predict function will predict that particular data set or particular image in this case will belongs to which class or belongs to which category so we'll supply this test one okay and let's display it and let's see what it has been okay it has in printed the array 3 so now array 3 is uh, nothing but whatever our target data sets uh, were there it has a target names also so let's just print that three so we'll come to know about it teach it okay so array three is nothing but the three and it has uh, already predicted that given image is three so that is uh, quite successful i have already supplied just the one image as a input for the testing you can supply hell lot of image and you can uh, predict the accuracy also so that's it for this lecture friends uh, i think we have already uh, we almost covered uh, uh, nearest neighbor and k nearest neighbor uh, classification uh, stuff now in a future lecture we are going to see about k nearest neighbor regressor so in this lecture we are have seen about how based on k nearest neighbor classification how you can predict the output category but if this output categories are suppose the continuous or uh, regression for the regression kind of problem how you can uh, predict that output continuous value so for that we are going to use this k nearest neighbor regressor so i hope you enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it